Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the match preview for Southampton against Arsenal. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the recent history between the two teams, the recent fixtures, all the stats and the records you need to know. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about what my lineup would be for the game. And yeah, I'm really sad to announce that yet again, just like the Man City game, yet again, like the Brighton game. This is another game we never win. This is another team we have a very bad record against, especially in the last seven, eight years. We used to beat them back then, obviously, two or two, two or three, two or four. We used to beat them, but recently we've had such an awful record against them. So from the last um from the last okay, since they were promoted promoted in 2012, we've played them seven times, and here's the record. Drawn, drawn, lost, lost, won drawn lost we've played them seven times at at saint mary's that is not at the ms at saint mary's we've played them seven times and at saint mary's since they were promoted we've only won once we've drawn three times and we've lost three times we've also played them away from home um, in 2016-2017 but in the fa cup which we managed to win five nil surprisingly and uh that season good enough we went on to win the uh, fair enough sorry good enough fair enough we went on to win the FA Cup that season against Chelsea in the final uh Walcott scored three times that day and well Welbeck scored a brace uh, we've also played them another two home games but in the League Cup also that same season in 2016-2017 we played them in the League Cup but they beat us at home 2-0 and in 2014-2015 they beat us again at home in the League Cup 2-1 so as you can see Home and away. Okay, at home in the Premier League, we've managed um six win and two, six wins and two draws. But in the League Cup, they've beaten us twice at home in, uh, between twenty fourteen and twenty sixteen. So you can clearly see that this is a team we have a very very terrible record against. So it's not it's not looking like a a, a good week for Arsenal to be honest. It's not looking like a good end to the season. We thought we would manage to get like eight wins out of the ten games, but it's looking it's quickly looking like three defeats in a row. And unfortunately, yeah, it's just the situation we are in right now and we really don't have any players to play this game. I'll get into my lineup next uh, at the end of the video. But yeah, let me just get into the recent meetings. I'm going to talk about the last four times we've uh, traveled to St. Mary's in detail and then a couple of um, not deep looks into the last couple of games we played them at the Emirates Stadium. And I'm going to start with um, the game earlier this season. We drew 2-2. That was, that was Emre's second last game. He was sacked in the very next game against Frankfurt, which you lost. So Danny Ings gave them the lead. This is a guy who has scored a lot of goals against us since he went there. Uh, he scored in the eighth minute. Lacazette equalized for us just 10 minutes later. But uh, we gave away a penalty, as usual. Uh, we gave them a penalty in the 70th minute. But Ward Prowse actually managed to miss the penalty. But the rebound fell straight back to him and he gave them the lead. And um, yeah, Lacazette equalized for us in the 96th minute. You all, all remember that picture where Lacazette looked like, damn, why did I have to equalize? We all want Emery out. And that actually added Emery another game. I'm sure if we lost that game, we would have been sacked after that game. That result left us in seventh, nine points worse off than Emery's first season. Uh, and that's after before that game, Southampton were 19th. That's how bad we are. That's how bad we were. Uh, they had lost 9-0 to Leicester just a month earlier. And um, they had also lost to City twice in the EFL Cup and also in the EPL and lost to Everton. But after playing us, they obviously got something away from that game. So, yeah, we played a back three on that day, Luis, Socrates and Chambers. Um, we had 12 shots and 5 on target in that game and they had 21 shots. That was a real trend under Emery. And they had six shots on target. Just a, a few more records from that game. We had failed to win our four league games before playing Southampton. We had lost to Sheffield United 1-0. Drawn with Crystal Palace 2-2. Drawn with Wolves 1-1. And lost to Leicester 2-0. We had also not um we had also lost in the League Cup against Liverpool in the 10-9 penalty shootout after the 5-5. We had also we'd also uh, we also drew with Vitoria 1-1 after that game. I think after or before, yeah. So in the seven games, you had only won once before. So 
it was a bad bad few months for Emery that, that that time okay I know it started the, the season before but around September October November things have started started falling apart uh, we also failed to win our next three games obviously Frankfurt Emery was sacked after and also drew with Norwich and uh, lost to Brighton 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 that that was under Yumbag our first win after all those days came against West Ham on 9th December 2019 and we didn't win again until the new year when we beat Man U um, before that game, we had faced five penalties, and uh, Leno was the first goalkeeper to save a penalty for us since Czech saved one against Troy Dini back in 2018, ending a run of 12 consecutive conceded penalties. None was ever saved until Leno saved that one, but anyway, they scored from the rebound. So our record actually from saving penalties was, has been terrible, terrible, terrible. We were shown six yellow cards in that game, and uh, that was the first time we have been shown six yellow cards since playing Man City back in November 2017. Yeah, you can clearly see the trend. This is just one game, and it was awful. But yeah, let's go back um, to the season 2018-2019, Emery's first season. Uh, we played them on 24th of February. We managed to beat them at home to Neil Lacazette and Mkhitaryan scored. Uh, that made it seven straight home wins for us. That win took us to fourth. I do not know how we ended up dropping, how I wish we could get a win that could take us fourth right now. Uh, in the home game back in December 2018, we've played uh, Southampton in a lot of December games and January games, like Boxing Day, New Year's. The last Since 2012, we've played them a lot, like four or five times in January and December. Uh, obviously, Southampton ended our 22 game unbeaten run. They beat us 3 2. Danny Ings again scored twice. Mikaterian scored twice for us in that game, surprisingly. And Charlie Austin scored the winner for them. That ended our 22 match run, as I've said. And um, their, our quality was just over the, their industry and their um, tenacity, like went over our quality for real for real for real like we couldn't handle them their power and their drive we couldn't handle them our starting lineup that day we started with a back three Lich Steiner I'll put it in sc on screen right now um Leno in goal Lich Steiner Koscielny and Shaka in the back three Montreal was at a left wing back Bellerin at right wing back Guendouzi and Torero in the middle Mikateran in Iwobi in behind Aubameyang so you can see how terrible that defense was and right now our squad, I can actually tell you that it's worse than that. It's worse than that. We had a better defense there than we're going to have in this game that we're going to play them on Thursday. That shows how much we keep on dropping and dropping. We have not improved. We've become worse since last season in terms of the squad you're going to take at St. Mary's. So, yeah, starts from that game. Uh, Saints, uh, that was Saints' first win in 14 games. They had not won the previous 14 games. They were also the first team to score three headers in a Premier League game since West Brom did it in 2016 against Swansea. I think Rondon did that in 2016, all three goals. Uh, Southampton's first headed goal of the season, goals of the season, they scored three headers in that game. That was the, Those were the first headers they had scored that season. Austin had scored in all five games that he had played against us, 100% record. Mikaterian had uh, after that game Mikaterian had scored 6 goals in 25 games for Arsenal more than he had scored at Manu in 39 games he had scored 5 in 39 games so that was the only positive from that game yeah so another season where we had terrible memories against against them at St Mary's and it's going to get worse uh, let me take it back to 2017 2018 we played them um at, at home beat them 3-2 Wenger's last season Aubameyang scored well back scored twice Long scored for them and Charlie Austin scored for them again. El Nene got sent off later on and Stevens got sent off for them. And you won't be surprised to hear that the first goal came from a mistake. Czech and Mustafi mix up when he conceded. The home, the away game that day, Wenger's last season, that season, sorry, away game, we drew 1-1. One, one. Austin scored again the opening goal within three minutes and Giroud equalized for us as a substitute in the 88th minute. And Matasaka gave away the possession and we conceded. Won't be surprised again to hear that. Back in 2016-2017 season, our last victory and our only victory at St. Mary's since they were promoted back in 2012, we won 2-0, Sanchez scored and Giroud scored. That's why I actually included Sanchez in my top 10 because in every single away game that we never used to win like Stoke, 
uh, Southampton. He was actually the one who helped us win those games single-handedly. So he was a good, good player away from home. He used to turn up. Giroud scored in the 83rd minute to make it 2-0. And uh, back in the 2015-2016 season, they beat us 4-0 on Boxing Day. Martina scored, Long scored twice, and Fonte scored for them. Mane was dominated us on that day, and Wanyama dominated. He bullied drums and Flamini in the midfield that day. He also missed a chance to go top of the table on that day, and you can guess which team went on to win the title? Leicester. If we just won this game, we'd have gained momentum and probably won the league that season, but such kind of results usually turn up when Arsenal is trying to compete for something, but yeah. Terrible results against Southampton, but let me now get into what my lineup would be for the game. So, as you know, we're really short of players, so that would be my lineup for the game. Something different. I know Willock can play in midfield. I know he could play Sabios and Niles in midfield, but I really don't like some combinations. So, this is what my lineup would be. I'd have Martinez in goal, obviously. I hope Leno is okay. At right back, I'd stick with Bellerin just because I prefer him to Niles anyway. At left back, I'd go with Kieran Tierney and in defense, Holding and Mustafi because we have no choice. So this back four, you can see here, okay, Tierney is okay, but this entire back four is actually worse than that back five we had against them last season when they beat us 3-2 when we had Leach Steiner and uh, Koscielny. Right now, we're even more short of numbers, so it's terrible. You don't even have Shaka to stick into the back three in this game. In midfield, I'd go with Niles and Saka. I know Saka played as a number 10 very well. He's against um, Brighton. He has played at right wing against Man City. He's played at left back, left wing. But in this game, I'd put him in the middle. And um, I think I'd put him... I wouldn't put Niles. I'd put Saka and I'd also put Sabayas. So at Saka and Sabayas in midfield, those two. I know Saka will be needed to defend that, but yeah, we really we have short of numbers. We can do nothing else. Either start Willock or Niles or put Saka in there. And then uh, in front of them, I'd bring back Ozil as the number 10. Have Pepe on the right. Martinelli on the left. Please, please, Martinelli should start a game. And Aubameyang up front. So just to run through the team quickly again, Martinez, Bellerin, Mustafi holding, Tierney, Saka and Sabayas in midfield, Ozil as the number 10, Aubameyang up front, Pepe on the right and Martinelli on the left. That would be my starting lineup. Um, I know midfield we could have a statue of Vieira and he could do better, but yeah, we are short of numbers. Uh, but anyway, I hope we win this game. If we start with this lineup, my prediction would be uh, a 2 2 draw, in fact. I'll go, I'm gonna go for a 2 2 draw because you're really short of numbers. Let me know in the comment section what your starting lineup would be, what your prediction would be for the game, which changes you'd, uh, which changes you'd, made to that, you'd make with, uh, to that team, sorry, and most importantly, which two would you start in midfield? Yeah, so yeah, I'll have a quiz after this probably on um, Tuesday. All the questions come from this uh, preview, so be sure to really get to know the stats and all the records because the questions come from that and yeah i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate the support thanks for watching keep taking care keep staying safe and i'll talk to you later